Hello everyone, today we will do a quick presentation about the cross laminated timber, it's called CLT. I am Felix Antoine Forte and my team members are Olivier Forte and Jean-Francois Poulain. The presentation subject will be what is the material, what are its properties, what would you use it for, what are its pros, what are the cons. What is the material origin? Cross laminated timber is a new generation of engineered wood product developed initially in Europe, has been gaining popularity in residential and non residential applications in several countries. Introduced in the early 90s in Austria and Germany. CLD panels consist of several layers of structural lumber boards stacked crosswise, typically at 90 degrees, and glued together on their white face and sometimes on the narrow face as well. A cross section of a CLT element has at least three glued layers of board placed in orthogonally, alternating orientation to the neighboring layers. In some spatial configurations, consecutive layers may be placed in the same direction giving a double layer to obtain specific structural capabilities. CLT products are usually fabricated with three or two seven layers and even more in some case. The panel size varies from manufacturer. Typical size is for the width is two feet to four and sometimes it can go to 16.5 feet. For the length it can be up to 60 feet. Here on the left it's the cross laminated timber CLT and on the right it's the glued laminated timber. They are pretty different. It's important to know the difference to recognize them. Here is a quick video on how it's made. Take the finger jointed lamina, picked up, put in a tray, the glue goes over top of it, then the short ones at 90 degrees, long ones, short ones, you build up the panel that way. Into a press it goes, 40 feet long and 10 feet wide, and up to 12 inches thick. So it's suitable for floor plates, slabs and things like that. What is the properties? One of the CLT properties is that multi-axis loading, which can be really interesting for two-way slab. Another one is that the CLT redistribute really well the load to the other principal structural elements. A third one is that the CLT has a height stiffness in plane and out of plane, which can be really helpful to redistribute the shear forces. Also, the strength class. There are seven strength class for CLT. The stress lasts were developed based on lumber spices and grades available in North America. For example, the first one, the E1 strength class, is made with spruce pine fir lumber in all parallel layer and number 3 spruce pine fir lumber in all perpendicular layers. The last property is the appearance classification. For example, you can choose an architectural appearance. That means that your CLT panel will be visible from inside of the building. So you want a really nice looking for the CLT panel. What you use it for? The cross laminated timber was first used for residential. Then for commercial, for mid-rise and height-rise buildings. And now you can also use it for institutional as library or school and also industrial. A residential example project will be the Garlic Residence in Oroville in Washington State, in the USA. An institutional project example from Boise, Idaho, 
will be the Brown Crossing Public Library. What will you use it for? The CLT panel mainly used for floor and roof slab, for example, two-way slab. Also for wall to resist reboot all the force as shear and wind force, etc. Now the pros. Fire resistance compared to other materials. Easy handling during construction and high level of prefabrication facilitate Practice project completion in mid-rise construction, uh, for example, five to eight stories. It also features good thermal insulation, good sound insulation, and good performance under fire are added benefits that come as a result of the massive wood structure. High in-plane and out-of-plane strength and stiffness properties in both directions, giving these panels a two-way action capability similar to a reinforced concrete slab. The reinforcement effect provided by the cross lamination in CLT also considerably increases the splitting resistance of CLT for certain type of connection systems. Good under vibration because of its uh, eye mass. Also good to meet the requirements for sustainable development. For the cons, Transportation regulation may impose limitation to CLT panel size, limited to floor, roof, and wall. The connections are not typical, however, designers need to be cautious about this as further verification is required, considering the specific features of individual panel types. CLT is more prone to time-dependent deformations under load, creep, than other engineered wood products such as uh, glued laminated timber. CLT panel can be affected by moisture problem 